Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain how we can leverage custom columns in the Task Manager Excel template to store and retrieve additional information about our tasks. The template itself aims to help create, assign, and manage tasks. So now let's get started with the template. So I have the template open now, and this is our Task Manager Advanced Excel template. And even though I am using this specific template to illustrate the features about custom columns, please note that the concepts apply to other templates also available from Inzara.com. And custom columns, so what are, what are custom columns? So let me show you the create task sheet, which is where we are creating the tasks and then assigning it to our resources. And we have custom columns towards the rightmost we have two custom columns in the create task table. And these custom columns are columns where you can store additional information. For example, there is no project name field. And in your business scenario, you might want to tag these tasks to different projects. For example, the first task might be project one, the second might be related to a second project. So if you want to flag them or tag them with the project, there is no specific column called project name. So you could now use the custom column and store the project name here. So this is the basic objective of providing custom columns where you can enter information. You can also rename the column name. For example, instead of custom column one, I could put this as project name and store my project information. Similarly, you can use this to store other information about your task. So that is the fundamental reason for custom columns. Now in this specific template, we have custom columns at the task level. We also have custom columns at the task occurrence level. So task occurrence is nothing but if you have a task that's a weekly task that runs for four weeks, then you have one task, but then there are four occurrences of the task. And so you will come here and update the four occurrences and based on the due date and update the status of those occurrences. So for example, the daily meet, this is all one task, task ID one, but it, up, it happens multiple times and you can update the status individually for each of those occurrences. And now there are custom columns in the task occurrence level as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to create some comments or notes at the task occurrence level, and then let's see how we can display that on the dashboard. So what we're going to do is first go to the custom column one, and then here we are going to first rename it as notes or comments, if you'd like to name them as comments, and then you can type information such as, okay, the, the this task ID three due 7th December, it is only 50% complete and that is due to an internal delay. And then the next one, let's say this is due to an external delay. So you can type notes like these or comments. And now let's go to the dashboard. And now in the dashboard, in the first section, we have the pending task occurrences list. And you can now see that the notes that we entered has come over to the um, the dashboard. So for example, if I write um, targeting next week, and let's see, go to the dashboard, it'll appear as targeting next week. So you can easily make the notes or additional columns available in the dashboard by using the custom column one. So that's the first thing. You can add information and make them appear in the dashboard. You can also, they, they also will appear in the report in the column M as notes. And that is again, through the custom column feature. Now that's the first one. The second option is, Let's say we want to um, not, we, we don't want to type something in there. Maybe we want the status of the task occurrence to be displayed on the dashboard. You can see on the dashboard that we don't have the status appear and it's very easy to change that too. So first let's rename the custom column as something where the name makes more sense. And we are going to put a formula equals and then point our mouse to this specific cell. And you can see that the formula, instead of saying the cell name or reference, it actually says 
at status and then I'm going to hit enter and now it'll put that formula in all the cells in this table in this column and now task status is automatically populated it is nothing but a copy of this but the reason where this would be handy is because this column is what will appear in the dashboard so I go to the dashboard I see the task status is now here so this is how you can bring the task status over to the dashboard in the report status is already provided the third scenario I want to discuss is slightly more complicated so I'm going to first delete this first and this in this case I want the project name to appear at the task occurrence level but I don't want to keep entering the project name for each occurrence because I know the task ID 1 belongs to project ID 1 and then the second task belongs to you know as we could write here in the create tasks table the first one let's say belongs to project one the second task belongs to project two the third belongs to project two and uh, this one project project one so we have different tasks belonging to different projects so now this is at the task level so it will not come through to the dashboard so what we need to do is to use this custom column here and write a simple formula to bring the project name from the create tasks sheet that's very easy so we're going to do first let's do an index and we're going to bring the data from this project name column comma let's go to the update tasks now which row do we want to bring in is based on matching on the task id so go and find this task id and go and find that specific task id in okay so now that's missing a parenthesis there you go so now what we have done here is we went and looked up task id 3 and searched for 3 in the create tasks table and then we found the row number and then we went back to the project name field and then found the corresponding project name so task id 3 the project name is project 2 so that is what we should have here so clearly now we are able to bring in the project names from the create task sheet over to the update task sheet and this is all automated now so you don't have to do it every task occurrence now we will see that in the dashboard project name will appear in the report project name will appear in the report you can also additionally filter say I only want to see project one task occurrences so now we have very quickly expanded the functionality of the template by now being able to filter and filter based on the project name field which we just now created so this is how you can extend the functionality of the template using the custom columns options in the template just to recap there are two custom columns in the create task sheet which is at the task level and then there are two custom columns available in the update task sheet the create the update task sheets custom column is the one that is connected to the custom column in the dashboard and it is also connected to the last column in the report so you will be able to instantly get them appear in the dashboard in the report from this specific column so if you have any questions about the features that we discussed in this video please leave them in the comments and i'll be very happy to respond thank you very much for watching the video